Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about um, all of the different programs and how a College of Business uh, student can go abroad. Um, I just want to take a second to um, address the CSU land acknowledgement. Um, feel free to take a moment to read this. Also, when you're going back and watching, you can pause the screen and read for yourself. Uh, my name is Natalie Cartwright. I use the pronouns she, her. Um, I am the College of Business um, Global Opportunities Coordinator. I also sit with the academic advising team. Um, and so I work with any of uh, College of Business students, whether you're a major, a minor, or even if you're explor exploratory studies with a business interest. Uh, my biggest portion of assisting students with going abroad is going to be curriculum integration and making sure that you stay on track for graduation. To give you a little bit of insight for business students abroad, the top destinations that we're sending our students are going to be the Czech Republic, Spain, Italy, Semester at Sea, and Germany. A few of these different destinations will be highlighted with some of the different recommended programs I will be talking about. And then if you looked at the pie, pie chart, we have COB students abroad and the type of breakdown uh, by the concentration. Uh, you'll see that one in three of the students that we are sending abroad are from the marketing concentration um, and then followed by 21% uh, of our students are finance concentration students. First program that I kind of want to highlight with you all today is going to be Macquarie University. This is going to be an exchange program that we have down in Australia. It's going to be in the town of North Ryder, which is on the northern sub suburb side of Sydney, Australia. So on the screen, we have the Sydney Opera House. Uh, Macquarie University is a great uh, institution for students to study abroad at. It's going to be very similar to CSU in that you're going to have a true campus feeling while you're there. It's a very green campus. There's water sources on campus. And the most important is that they have a business school um, or college. And that means that there's quite a few different courses that a business student can choose from. So just like um, you take courses from different uh, departments here on CSU's campus, the same would be true on the Macquarie University Exchange Program. So you could take management courses, finance courses, but you could also mix in some fun free electives, uh, whether that be a course on Aborigine studies, or if you wanted to do something maybe with political science or history, um, or maybe take some courses that might go towards a minor. So if you have an econ minor, uh, then you would definitely be able to take those courses as well. This is going to be a program that's going to be semester based, so this will not be a summer or winter break program option, uh, rather it'd be a spring or fall, just keeping in mind that Australia is in the southern hemisphere, so their weather is opposite of ours here in the US. Second program that I want to talk on, this is going to be what we call a short term program, it's going to happen in the summertime, it is part of our staff faculty led program portfolio, uh, and that's going to be marketing at Harlexton College in England. This program is really designed for marketing students. However, it's open to any student that has taken Marketing 300 or Marketing 305. Um, and so it's going to be a three-week summer program that we've been running since summer 2016. It's actually a combo hybrid program with CSU Pueblo. Um, so Dr. Brennan is the faculty leader for this program, and he teaches within the um, business school down in Pueblo. And so it's a really great opportunity for CSU Fort Collins students to interact with CSU Pueblo students. The credits that a student would be receiving on this program would be transfer credit from CSU Pueblo. So it would not impact your CSU cumulative GPA, uh, but you would receive specific credit for Marketing 361, which is a required course for all marketing concentration students. That's gonna be the buyer behavior course, as well as Marketing 320, which would be a marketing group one, uh, one of those four choices that you'd be able to take. And the title of that course is gonna be Integrated Marketing Communications. Uh, typically it runs late May into June, and students are staying in the manor, which is known as Harlexton Manor uh, that you see on the screen. This is about a 45 minute to an hour train ride north of London. Students will fly into London. They'll have a weekend in London. They'll have some day trips down to London. So students will still get a very large metropolitan city experience while also getting to experience the English countryside. Kansai Gaidai University is going to be another one of our exchanges, so similar to the program that I highlighted in Australia. However, this program is going to be in Japan. So it's going to be in Harakata, so it's not near Tokyo, um, but students would still be able to travel to Tokyo. 
huge highlights for this program is that students can not only take Japanese cultural courses, language courses, especially if you're maybe doing a Japanese minor, but students also have the opportunity to take business courses. Um, and so students can do a mix of both. Um, and then those business courses are going to be taught in English. The cultural courses are going to be also taught in English uh, with the language courses being taught in Japanese. Kansai Gaidai also provides a very strong buddy system for students. So there's a high level of cultural immersion from where the students are living um, to just the day-to-day -day interactions that you will also be having in your classes. Your course will be with local university students, um, other U.S. university students that are studying abroad, as well as the possibility of exchange students from uh, around the world, whether that's uh, European nations, uh, Australia, New Zealand, um, or even, even other Asian countries. Um, and so this is a really great opportunity if you're interested in East Asian culture, if you're very specifically interested in Japanese culture, or if you're wanting to get a little bit more outside your comfort zone, um, then there's a lot that the KGU exchange program can offer. Again, similar to the Australia Exchange, this is going to be a semester only program. So it's going to be fall or spring only. Uh, there is not an opportunity to do something with this uh, university in the winter or summer. Another exchange that I want to highlight is going to be SRH Heidelberg. This is going to be in Germany. Um, as you can see sitting up there in the photo, that's going to be the Heidelberg Castle. Um, and so it is a German town that's in the Rhineland Falls area, uh, which was historically known for lots of castles. Um, there's a high percentage of the castles that are still standing in Germany or in, in this region, as well in, as into the, to the southern region of the state. Uh, but the Rhineland Falls region is going to border uh, France. It's going to be in the southwest corner of the state of Germany. Um, this is a fantastic city for students, um, for college age students specifically. Um, it's a very young, hip town. Um, while uh, students are on this program, they will be taking courses in a block system, which is really unique. It's one of our only programs that offers courses in this structure. Uh, so the way that the block system works is students would take one course for about every four to five weeks, they would finish that course and then they would go on to the next. So if you've ever taken a four week course here at CSU in the summertime, it's gonna be very similar to that where you're only attending one course at a time uh, before then you totally switch to the other. The great thing about this is at the end of your uh, study abroad experience, you don't have a very uh, heavy, stressful finals week. You would only have one final at the end uh, for that class that you're finishing in that last block. Uh, students also have the opportunity to take an intro to German language course, uh, which will help them get around, although with uh, Heidelberg having a very young population, uh, many people are also fluent in English. And then um, the other unique thing about this program is that it's really designed for business students. Um, all your coursework for the most part would be coming back into either the business core or potentially into your concentration. Uh, so a really great opportunity with SRA Heidelberg. It's also very well located within Europe. If you're wanting to kind of hop around uh, Germany, visit other cities, or even if you're wanting to go and visit other European nations um, while you were there. Next program that I'm going to talk about is going to be another short term program, a staff faculty led program. This one is going to be in the winter break time, and this is going to be community and cultural engagement in Ecuador. So Ecuador is going to be down in South America. This is a traveling program throughout Ecuador. So you are not just staying in one location while you're on this program, but rather over the two week duration of the program you would actually be traveling um, upwards to anywhere from seven to nine different cities that you'd be seeing. The benefits of this program is you get to see everything from 14,000 feet up in the Andes all the way to uh, sea level at the beach. Um, and then this program is really composed of uh, cultural site visits, business visits, everything from small artisanal crafts that are still done out of uh, Ecuadorian locals' homes, all the way to larger corporations that work on the international stage, uh, whether it be uh, the exportation of roses um, or uh, a cocoa company with the processing of cocoa beans and turning that into chocolate products for various companies. Um, this is a program that's been running since winter break 2017. Um, it's a very popular program, not only for business majors, but also business minors. Um, so it's a really great one to be kind of on the lookout for. And it primarily uh, would benefit any student in uh, with any of their concentrations. Um, and then if it doesn't work within the concentration specifically, then it would work towards a free elective. 
Another longer term program or a semester based program that I wanted to talk about is a provider program that we offer. Um, this is going to be ISA Bangkok, Thailand at Mahidon University. Um, so Mahidon University is considered the Harvard of Thailand. Um, so it's a very prestigious university that a lot of the local students want to go to, as well as that students in the Asian uh, region, as well as outside of Asia, uh, aim to go to this institution to learn uh, because of the strong academics that come with the program. Uh, Mahidon University sits on the western side of Bangkok, so it's not in the heart of Bangkok. It's a little bit on the, the outskirts, but it is still bustling with tons of things for students to do, visit, um, all throughout um, Bangkok, you're gonna see a mixture of modern with um, history. So you're gonna see um, uh, Buddhist temples that will be right next to modern skyscrapers. Um, so even in the photo, you can kind of see in the distance there's skyscrapers skyscrapers with the temples up close. This is a fantastic program because uh, Mahidon University has a international business college and they teach all the coursework in English. So our students can take a variety of business courses while they are there. Um, it's going to be a spring or a fall program. The uh, semesters are slightly off from our semester with students starting uh, the spring semester actually in late December and going to early April. And then the fall semester is um, a little bit more on par with us, but it's more September to December. Um, and this is really fantastic uh, because Thailand is a very affordable location. Um, so travel throughout Asia is very easy uh, and very, um, very open for students and accessible, especially if you're gonna be on a shoestring budget or you just don't have a lot of funds to be able um, to do very uh, expensive trips, then this would be a really great program for that. Um, and so all of our students who have gone to Bangkok in the past have really raved on it. And then in addition to taking those business courses, students would also be able to take courses from other departments, whether it's political science, history, economics, um, or even boxing, um, if that's something that you would like to kind of do as a free elective. Another short-term program that I would like to highlight is gonna be the supply chain management in Peru program. This is gonna be a staff faculty led program. It's gonna be in the winter break time. Sometimes it is also offered in the summertime at the end in August. So it just depends on the preference of the faculty program leader. Uh, but this program takes place in Lima. It's a 10 day uh, program where students are interacting with and visiting local businesses in Lima, as well as doing a project with one of the local universities down there. So not only are students being able to see supply chain in action in Lima, but they are also able to interact with local students, which is typically not something that's available to students on such a short program. Uh, the faculty leader for this program is uh, Dr. Susan Glissick. She is the department chair for the management uh, department here in the College of Business. She's fantastic. She's been teaching for quite some time. It is actually a program that's open to undergrads and graduate students. So another unique piece or aspect of this program. Um, and one big note with this one is it is only open to supply chain management concentration students. So if you're interested in this program um, or you are already a supply chain management student, then you are on the right path. NYP Prague, this is a newer program that um, CSU and the College of Business is offering. This is a program that's in Prague or the Czech Republic. Um, UNYP is the University of New York Prague. This is a really great program for business students as well. Um, there's quite a few different courses for students in the semesters to choose from as well as the summers. So this is one program where students can go fall, spring or summer um, as the program is offering coursework pretty much year round minus the winter break term. Um, as you can see, Prague is a really awesome city, uh, has a lot of historic value, has a lot of bridges. Um, that's going to be the Charles River that you're seeing right there. Um, and it is a really great city for accessing Central and Eastern Europe. Um, in general, even though Prague is a capital city of Europe, it is more affordable than many of the other European capital cities. And so the lower cost of living that Prague promotes um, allows students to really engage, um, see many things in the city, travel throughout, throughout Prague, uh, throughout the Czech Republic, as well as throughout Europe. Um, and so if you are a student that is financially cautious, um, this could be a really great program for you. Um, and I would highly recommend it since it works with most business concentrations. So after highlighting a handful of those programs, just to kind of give you 
um, a little bit of an idea of where you would be going next. Um, you would be working with a team of folks to kind of help make your education abroad experience a reality. So this would be everything from a CSU education abroad coordinator, which would be determined based on the region that you choose. Myself, the CLB Global Opportunities Coordinator, so that we can make sure whichever program you choose um, will work very well for you academically to keep you on track for graduation, as well as either a program advisor or a CSU faculty or staff group leader, depending on it, what type of program you're going on, whether it's an exchange, um, a provider program, or a staff faculty led program. If you're wondering what the next steps are for that you would take, um, the biggest thing would be planning out what classes you need to graduate. You can do that with me. You can do that with your uh, academic advisor in the business school. Um, wherever you want to start with that, perhaps you already have a full graduation plan. In that case, you can reach directly out to me and we can get started. You'll want to visit the Start Here page on the Education Abroad website. You'll want to research some programs online. If you are not seeing any programs of the country that you'd like to go to, you can also reach out to me and I can link you with some of the programs that would be great options in the country that you're interested in. You can make an appointment with me through Navigate. Uh, you can make an appointment with the financial aid counselors for education abroad, also through Navigate, and then we'll, we'll eventually want to get you started with applying for programs and scholarships. And that's all I have for today. Um, so if you have any questions regarding education abroad as a business major, business minor, or if you are exploratory studies with an interest in business, then feel free to reach out to me. I hope I can work with you to make your uh, dream of going abroad a reality, whether if that's for a winter break, a summer, a semester or a full academic year. Thanks so much.